divine. Define the word divine. Is divine a word we speak to feel that way? Or is divine a walk in life and paying attention to your path from the day you can use your common sense to guide you with being divine? Divine is to know that everything we do can be divine or undivine divine. Some people wake up to say they are divine knowing they lived a path of wickedness and they feel that their teachings and testimonies is the way they're going to be identified by the ones who are truly divine. Being divine is something you just say, hey, I'm a divine and I'm going to wake up and I'm going to tell everybody else they're not divine. Divine is a lesson. This earth is a classroom. The people that's walking on this earth with you is your classmates. That's being divine. Knowing that deep down inside of you, inside of you there's something that no one else has. And they're studying and they're praying so hard to be like you because they're undivine. They did a lot of undivine things. We all fall weak. But divine is something that you was born with. And if you truly have love in your heart, you can be taught being divine. But if you have this self-divinity in yourself because of all the guilt trips and things you've done, you can kill that divine. Because a lot of y'all are de-lying, just lying. You know you did a lot of mystified, evil things in the dark. You know you shouldn't have done that. You know you should have did those things. But now you're the judge, you're the jury. Really. My subscribers, they are chosen ones that they are they are awakening because they ain't going for the bullshit. They know I'm not trying to just get no hype. They know I'm not getting out of this. I suffer just like you. But these people say they're divine. And they always give away they self for what they've done, who they are. And you just pay attention to that. Just pay, stay focused on, because they're going to slip and say what they are, who they are, and what they've done. Forgiveness is good. But what are you trying to give forgiveness for? The people or the, or the almighty creator? Who? Archangel Michael, help me with my words. But who are you divine for? It's a time where the days of the ancient and the ancient eyes and the ancient seers. Like I pray to you because these people don't know, like chosen ones are sitting there, we are watching. We know we're dancing around the y'all snare trap. But y'all and the y'all can't touch us. Cause we ain't doing nothing that's gonna make, you know. We're not doing no Caesar stuff. If, if it belongs to Caesar, we're not doing it. So it's just these imitators, these puppet masters. They're not truly doing it for the spiritual gift of making someone else feel great about themselves, healing them from in and out, sharing their, their, their worldly problems, hoping that you can learn something from the mistakes. You can walk that path and smile at the end of that tunnel and flash that light for others to be guided to the end. They so divine. They so divine. They just want to be, and they got too much guilt for, for who they truly are. They know they didn't get the creator his attention. They know they didn't help Mother Nature out with her problems. The fake and phony got to deal with themselves at the end of the day. Looking in that mirror knowing. I wonder if that person chosen for real. I wonder if that person divine for real. I wonder, am I really messing with an earth angel? A storm crow? They out here. We out here.